So, one of my guests tonight starred in the film How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Bet I can do it quicker than that. Hello. Hello. I love you. <laughs> Bit bored now. You're dumped. Hey, let's start the show! <laughs> Terrific lineup tonight. We have Hollywood glamour actress Kate Hudson is here. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> and we have hilarious comedy Russell Kane is on the show. <laughs> and we've charged up in music four time Brit nominated Tiny Temper, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> is here. Ooh, the kids love Tiny. The kids love Tiny. It's quite a difference between British and American rappers. Have you noticed this? Like, here's an American rapper. <laughs> there he is. All his bling from the hood. And uh, here's Tiny Temper. <laughs> With a Christmas jumper from his nan. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as I Kate Hudson's on the show, star of so many great films, Kate's new film is called A Little Bit of Heaven, in which she falls in love with her doctor. Mmm. Now, she meets the doctor after going in for a rectal examination. I'm not making this up. <laughs> so it's a great film. I give it two thumbs up. <laughs> As indeed did the doctor. <laughs> Kate received an Oscar nomination for her breakthrough film, Almost Famous. Yeah, Almost Famous. I, I think it was based on this man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you remember the BNP looking at that photograph, wouldn't it really mess with your head? <laughs> <laughs> Do I like it? Do I hate it? I don't know. <laughs> and of course, Almost Famous was uh, about the world of rock groupies. And uh, lots of bands have groupies. Here are some groupies for the Kings of Leon. Uh, here's some groupies for McFly. <laughs> and uh, here's some groupies for Take That. <laughs> You're all very welcome. Thank and, you and of course, you're, you're chatting for two. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Actually, I am. Yeah. I, I'm just starting to pop. Yeah. Wow. Oh, a round yeah. of applause, guys. Yeah. yeah. She's staggered. She's up the dust. Oh, good job. She's up the dust. People in Hollywood with child. Oh, of course. Yeah. Off the dust. I forgot. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> this is England, love. Minutes this is in. <laughs> Do you know now, uh, what, is it a girl or boy? No, no. You don't I, know. I don't want to find, I don't, don't want to know. know. Yeah. Don't know. It okay. feels like a girl. Yeah? It feels girl. So do you have, do you have names chosen for he or she? We've got a couple, <laughs> but, but... You're not going to tell me? No. Oh. No, I don't want to tell anybody. No. Everybody has so many things to say when you're pregnant about everything. It drives me nuts, you know. Do you find that thing where people just tell you horror stories? Yeah, oh no, don't do that. Because when my <laughs> friend did that, she ended up in a hospital doing an emergency. So, you, yeah. know, you, you, you know, you're going, My nan loves stuff <laughs> like, the twins ripped me in half. <laughs> ripped <laughs> me. <laughs> Cup of tea, dear. <laughs> Yes, he tried to keep as much <laughs> quiet, I guess. Yeah. And uh, now, sir, uh, Tiny Temper is your name. Yes. But presumably, your parents aren't Mr. and Mrs. Temper. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, so, when did the name happen? Was it just for performance, or you changed your name already? No, um, I was in secondary school, and I was doing a subject called citizenship. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of it. It's like a compulsory thing you do once a week. Mm. 
and no one pays attention to citizenship. Ask anybody here. <laughs> so um, <laughs> um, at that time, I was about 13 years old, and I just decided I needed a cool stage name. And Tiny Tempo was quickly born. I went through the thesaurus. I was planning to kind of go through the whole thing, but I kind of stopped at A in anger, and I saw, I saw Tempo underneath that, and I was like, yeah, it sounds cool. So you announced... What did age you say? 13? 13, yeah. At 13, you said to your classmates, yeah. by the way, whatever you were calling me... I kind of did it at playtime, because there was more people, and I gathered them all around. And I was like, <laughs> Listen, guys, I'm, I'm Tiny Tempo from now on. And they just <laughs> didn't call you... Patrick. Other names. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, so they, they, they kind of went, OK, we'll call you Tiny Temper from now on. Yeah. It's kind of good now, because I saw uh, the majority of them in Ibiza the, last year, and it was cool. It was kind of like, oh, well, so it all worked out for you then, did it? Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so I, I'm, I'm do, happy with it. Do most kids go through a stage where they want to change their name? I yes. Mine. What? I changed mine. Well, I did? still is on my card. I'm still Lord Russell Kane. I changed <laughs> my... <laughs> Seriously, my mum had to witness it and everything. I changed my title to Lord. Uh, yeah. No, so on your credit card it says yeah, Lord Russell Kane. Yeah, just before I came on stage, because they thought, they thought I was winding them up backstage, and I showed them my card, it says Lord Russell Kane. I did it to see if people would react differently when I was buying beans in Tesco's and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, did when I, was eight, I did it when I was eight. Obviously, you had to wait till I was 18, and I got a deed poll, and I just did it, and my mum helped me relinquish my identity. She'd long given up any hope I was going to be normal. So <laughs> she was, and, of course, I've got an Essex accent, Lord Kane, thank you very much. <laughs> back to the manor. So I, that is still my... And I've just never changed it back, so I'm Lord... Lord Russell. <laughs> wow! <laughs> um, and also, now, our, I read, our congratulations in order, are you engaged? I knew you were going to... Uh, no, 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 no. You're not... Not, not, not that I know of. Oh, because yeah. I read in the paper no. that you're all engaged. No, no. Because you're going out with uh, Matt Bellamy. Yeah. Uh, lead singer of the Muse. <laughs> yeah, lead singer of the Muse. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, he's the father of a child, obviously. Yes, I... I you don't I, move I, that I fast. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, he is the oh, father. Do we hear any wedding bell? I don't know. I, you know, I, can't, I mean... I don't like putting that kind of pressure... I don't, I don't feel it necessary to get married. If he loved you, he'd ask yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 no, no, I would very much. No, I would, honestly, I, you know, I'm, I'm 31 and already uh, have one child and have had one divorce. So, <laughs> so I'm a little bit like, it's, it's not a, necessarily a golden ticket. I just want to be happy. And, and my parents are almost 30 years and not married, and so... I don't look at it like it's something that I have to do. Have to do, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. But listen, if you are ever getting engaged, looking for entertainment, <laughs> Tiny Temper is your go-to guy. Is I it, heard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you, is it true that you are going to be the official entertainment at the royal engagement Tell party? Tell us the truth. Am I? What? Really? That's what I read. We Serious. all want to know. Apparently, Prince Harry, he loves you, and he's kind of put the phone calls in. No, no do, you know, do you know what, guys? Honestly, I've, I've heard as much as you guys have. Honestly. You know I had a telegram? No, no, no. <laughs> Hold on, are you a trying to say... delivered me a message. Are you trying to say the tabloids are not telling the truth? <laughs> no, do you know what? Honestly, That's crazy. If they've told the tabloids, then, the, then Prince Harry and William haven't told me yet. But the minute they do, I'll let you guys know. But Wills and Kate, you know Wills and Kate like you. Yeah, they, they came to watch me at a show once. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I did, I did a big weekender um, last May, I believe. And I was performing, I was doing my thing. I came off for the encore, and I saw this really tall white guy in a hat. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, he looks a bit familiar. And when I, up, when, I came up the stage, when I came off the stage, my manager was like, you do know that's Prince William, right? I was oh like, is it? And I had my top off, and I was sweating. <laughs> and it was really awkward, because Prince William was like, hey, good show, How man. How are you doing, Prince <laughs> <Hey. laughs> Great show, man. Great show. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. But, I mean, I'd love to do it all again in a nice little suit, awesome. you know? The wedding. You do the wedding. Yeah, the like... wedding. Yeah, after the buffet, yeah. uh, you could come out. Yeah. yeah. I love the idea of the Queen bogling in the background. Dunking it, Victor. You'd be surprised. <laughs> and, and now, uh, of course, your lovely uh, not-husband is... Uh, <laughs> I won't go on about it. Uh, <laughs> He's English, and yeah. is, is this your first English boyfriend? Yes. So, yeah. do you notice the difference? Very much. Oh. I, I never thought. I never thought I would notice. Cult, uh, like I, I always thought, like you know, cultural guy's differences. A guy. a guy's and, a guy. You know. yeah. yeah. But a then no, yeah. One. I mean, it's there's a, there's a lot of differences. It's just a different. It's, it's a different type of 
way. Does he you know? swear? And does he swear a lot? No. No. He's very polite and and kind and so sweet. I mean, I I really was. You know, oh, he's lovely. Yeah. You should <laughs> marry him. <laughs> <laughs> You, you've been to America, haven't you? I have indeed. And do, the, do the American ladies like like a bit of the British tiny? Do you know what? I, I, I kind of over exaggerate my accent when I get out there. <laughs> good evening. It's kind of like, good evening, <laughs> ladies. Hello. How are you doing today? I know Prince William. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go lower. Exactly. Yeah, you, you have go lower. To, a little bit, yeah. yeah but you they, like... they absolutely love it. I do yeah. notice, though, I, get, I, I do get corrected sometimes of like, I, I say can, you know, can I have a. And Matthew, it's, you know, could I have. May I? Would it be possible if I could? <laughs> that sounds May quite I? strict. No, but you know, it's, just, but it's not. I don't think does he correct it's you? Um, if he does, don't marry. No. Him. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Got the kids. He just leave. He doesn't, correct me. <laughs> he doesn't correct me, but I've been corrected. Yeah. Wow. That, yeah. With a chalkboard and some Latin yeah. again, please. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have, uh, and then and like is always. I have a, a, a friend, a girlfriend who lives here, Stella, and she she likes to mimic me all the time. So it's always like like. Like mm. or I say guys, and she always thinks that's weird. Like, why do you say, why do Americans say guys all the time? You guys are so cool, man. Jim, <laughs> 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 always getting ready. Cool. I'm breaking the states. <laughs> <laughs> but now, listen, it is gorgeous to have you on the show because obviously we're we're big fans of uh, your parents, uh, Goldie and Kurt. They've both been here. They're here. Right oh, now. Yeah, well, yes, they were here yeah, in, the, in the country. Yeah, yes. yeah. En famille. It's yeah, very nice. that's yeah, fine. lovely. And reading about, your, it sounds like um, Goldie and Kurt were quite kind of touchy feely yeah. parents. Yeah. Now, are you the do you Happy, talk do you, do you talk everything through, or is there a everything. bit of everything? We are like a big talking family. Family meetings. If there's a problem, we have family meetings, and still to this day. Because that's so not British, is it? The idea of a family meeting with your dad, he would. Well, well, my mum's a, a clean up for a start. It's a slightly <laughs> different dynamic. So my mum's impressed by it. I, I took her first class on the train to Edinburgh, and she's <laughs> she's still going on about that since she came first. Like, she didn't ask about the show. I got nominated for an award up there. The first thing she said when she got off the train was, "I didn't pay for a single biscuit." <laughs> What's going on about the free biscuits? <laughs> my family's really easily impressed, and, uh, and my dad's the total, you know, no emotional literacy whatsoever. But he doesn't like to be portrayed as unloving. And the vintage one he came out with is, "Why'd you make out I wasn't a loving father? I never hit ya." And there's, nothing, <laughs> there's, nothing, there's nothing in between except not beating your son. No hobbies, no football games. <laughs> I love, wow. the story, I love the story about when you did see your dad get emotional. No, he does fill up. If he's had the five Stella Artois entry point, oh. he'll do the <laughs> you know, thing with his working class dads. It's not their fault. It's like a little lump of ET love. It's worse. It's more tragic because you know it's, it's locked in there. It just never gets out. So now and again, they feel, don't they, right up to the lid, but then back into the skull. A little declaration <laughs> of love, but the next day, you know, if you don't know the difference between a Phillips screwdriver and a slot, you're a failure. <laughs> <laughs> I call it the love boomerang. I love you, son, son. Not really. <laughs> my dad hasn't been emotional at all, but I think that's kind of cool. But like, even after everything that's happened, he's still just dad. Yeah, but you know he's feeling it in there, though. Deep oh, yeah. inside, deep, deep, deep. But your mom yeah. sounds like a very kind of... Oh, she's so emotional. She cries, laughs, shouts, screams, dances, jumps, everything. She should meet my mom. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I feel a workout with it. Yeah, work out. Oh my God. <laughs> Can you imagine? But now, but it, it's interesting though, because you had this kind of hippie dippy uh, upbringing, but it sounds like Kurt was very protective of you when it came yeah, to boys. Just... Like when you started yeah, getting interested in boys. Was, I'm the only girl, so it was a little. I, and I'm, I admittedly, and I have no qualms about saying this, I'm, I was, and sometimes still am boy crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I, I, you know, I, I definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Totes amazing. <laughs> Random. Like. Oh my god. Well. Oh my god. <laughs> What's your first obsession? Was it Tom Cruise? Oh, I was just crazy about him. To the point you were a bit. You had a video of Tom Cruise, didn't uh -oh. you? Well, everybody has videos of Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Stop what are you that. talking about? So, didn't, you have, didn't you have a special video of all the right moves? Oh the, oh, the movie where I, 
Yes, you can see his pee pee in that movie. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not just a special video. You can rent it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can. Anybody can see it. It's like he a shadow. <laughs> and I remember I was watching it. I was really little, and I was watching it. And I was like, oh, oh my god. And I, I, I went back and I rewound it, and I was like, oh my god. I, <laughs> I think. I think. It, I think other than obviously, you know, I've got a, a million brothers, and my house is filled with boys. So. There's parts flying around through hallways all over the place all the time. Wow. <laughs> listen, we have an open family, and, you know, naked people in our family isn't, like, something we hide. It's not, yeah. you know, it's like my brother, if he had to go from the bathroom to his bedroom, you know, every once in a while, there was no towel, you'd, you know, you'd just go to the bedroom. It's so modern. It's, yeah. just, <laughs> it's just what, you know, but I, I really think that was the first experience I had. Did you have a childhood crush? I, I had loads, but I, I'm only, my only freeze frame... Uh, moment was that I don't know, probably people probably don't even remember this werewolf movie called The Howling. If you remember it, and there was one particular scene, like it was particularly hard to get hold of uh, what, you illicit were material. To a werewolf. No, there was this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, how Freudian is that? There was this one bit where the woman's half woman, half wolf, and there's just a glimpse of her naked. It's usually do it for me. I don't know why. <laughs> She could destroy me, but that also is, do me. That, that <laughs> goes right back to your father. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, Look out, <laughs> Susan Boyle. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? My, my childhood crush was um, Britney Spears. And, and this is actually something no one knows. Um, I auditioned for a play in primary school called The Pie Piper, and I, got, I was the mayor, right? And I, I sang uh, Hit Me Baby One More Time. <laughs> For my audition. Oh, the audition! Yeah. Oh, for the audition! <laughs> I was like, what, what version yeah. of the play is that? All the rats in Peter. All the rats in Peter. That is so funny. I can't believe that was your choice. Yeah, if you, if you ever meet her, don't tell her that. Uh, but also, I love. But also, I just said, I feel so old that somebody's childhood crush was no, Britney Spears. Like, like, how old are you? I'm on 22. Really annoying. Yeah, I'm in my 30s. <laughs> <laughs> like, it reminds me I'm in my 30s. That's just, you just kind of go, wow, you're totally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can tell you my age, it would really cheer you up. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Kate Hudson, you are actually here to tell us about your new film, uh, A Little Bit of Heaven, which is released next Friday. That's mm -hmm. Friday the 4th. Mm -hmm. Now, I've seen, I, we talked about this, I've seen it, I really enjoyed it, I laughed, I cried, I did all you the things. You shed a tear. No, I, I did. I was really excited about that. No, I did shed a tear. Yeah. A tear. <laughs> <laughs> I wept tear. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, I did, I did. Um, I, we laughed and we cried. Um, and it's a rom-com, but if you do the kind of the one-line description of what it's about, it's quite a hard sell, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, it is. Uh, it's funny, and it's and it, it's a love story, and it's a journey of a woman who um, gets diagnosed with a terminal illness. Um, so <laughs> it's like you're like so yes, yes, you know, no. Yeah, you're like. Yeah. <laughs> but you have to but see you know, it. You know, it's a, it's a yeah. really good cry. You know, I think it's really. Uh, Everybody has a different reaction at different places throughout the movie. You know, the relationship between her and her father, or the love story, or her and her best friend, um, and, and how differently people sort of approach dealing with love and death. Yeah, that was a bit, the bit that made me boohoo the bit was when you were talking through the door to your friend on the so, other side of the y door. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, yeah. some bits. No, if I'd been watching that on a plane and a bit drunk, I would have been howling. <laughs> <laughs> I was holding it back because I was at a press screening. Uh, listen, a little bit of heaven, it opens next time. We've got a, a sort of a, a little bit of a taster of a little bit of heaven. Here is a, a montage. To the youngest, the hottest vice president in the history of that <laughs> What if I want something more? What if I don't? You look familiar. Have we had sex? I'm sorry? Please tell me you're not flirting with your doctor. So what if I am? Oh. <laughs> okay, Molly, we're gonna need to run some tests. There are alternative therapies. Like people cured? Yeah. What are you afraid of? I'm scared this entire night's gonna go by and you're never gonna kiss me. You really are 
are the biggest dork I've ever said. Sure. But it's a far better compliment if you leave dork out of that sentence. You are the biggest I have ever slept with. <laughs> <laughs> now, the thing that interested me was the scene where the doctor, your lover, he's there all... Now, he looks like he's in the all... <laughs> now, your eye line is very good. You are being a lady. I was You're trying to look him in the eye. I was, yeah. Now, is there some sort of strange device he there? He went totally, totally naked. No way. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> when you're doing a love scene, usually they'll put on a little sock. Nice. Uh, but if you go in the nude, you just kind of get comfortable with each other and get to know each other for a couple weeks and say, all right. Oh, my God. Here, I cannot... take, I'll just, you, you know. You know, I've, I've always wanted to meet a movie star, and I've always wanted to ask a movie star one question and one question only. Make it a good one. <laughs> <laughs> you see, like, sometimes when they do love scenes, do they do them for real? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> You must have seen a few films and I've said, rumors, that looks a bit real. Like. I've heard rumors of older movies, like old, like there was a, a, a Donald Sutherland, Julie Christie movie where yeah, there's a they famous just, just here, they didn't do it. Did you ask him? Don't look now. We didn't bother. Don't look he, now, yeah, because yeah, no, it was a famous... He's, he's, been, he's really talked about how it's not true. It's not it's true, not yeah. True. See, but I, weird how I that mean, story got out there. Here's the thing. I think it would be impossible if... I mean, I, mean, I don't know if maybe some... I mean, I... I not in my experience. <laughs> I'd audition, certainly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I have a feeling that, you know, um, it's so technical. I, I would think that, you know, there's so, all these what? gaffers and lighting guys. Yeah, but what about a married and... couple, like, for example, you know... Definitely like... not. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Tony? I've seen watching telly. Thank you for your contribution, yeah, Tony. Yeah, no, <laughs> Yeah. I love that. I've always asked yeah. them one question. One question. <laughs> That's it. That's one question. Thank you very yeah. much. Kate. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> now, Kate, you, Kate, you've got a baby on the way and uh, possible engagement. I don't know, but uh, certainly with the baby, uh, people like to give people cakes, don't they? Like celebration cakes. cakes. It's a simple, acceptable, affordable gift. And yet, beware, things can go wrong, right? And there's this uh, website, and it's called uh, Cake Rex, and they've brought out a book now. And it's when uh, professional cakes go wrong, right? So the, the basic premise of professional cakes that go wrong is when you ring up and they say, oh, what would you like uh, on the cake, oh, right? right the and then the people get it wrong. So, for instance, uh, there's a, a uh, God bless everyone inside a heart. <laughs> Let's see what they've done. They've gone, I'd like God bless everyone inside a heart. <laughs> <laughs> they've just written the whole thing. I mean, the... <laughs> the, the, the best... I mean, it took this, a second. I was like, yeah, this is the best example of it. Uh, so, that what would really, you like... What would you, really like what would you like written on the cake? Oh, nothing. <laughs> I'm giving that to someone. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, but then, so anyway, so then they get into the idea of uh, baby point. books, baby books, uh, baby cakes, rather. So this is, again, the same idea where someone's rung up and said, we'd like a uh, welcome baby in pink. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what they got. But then, sometimes, it's just, it's... The idea of baby cakes, people try to get a bit clever. So... Oh, for, this is really funny. So, like... So this, it's beautifully made, <laughs> and yet there's something just a bit wrong about that. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> oh. It looks like the baby's just fallen in the cake. <laughs> that is... That's that is... Feet. Yeah. And, and then, by the way, I mean, and so well done. Yeah. I mean, and so, I mean, the feet look and, spectacular. And then also, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the difference in cost is, but never give a new mother half a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Don't those thighs look delicious? <laughs> <laughs> look at that one. The half torso. Look, look at the one over it here. It looks like a Tootsie Roll. Look how frightening is that? <laughs> <laughs> looks like a shark. <laughs> no new mother wants to cut arms <laughs> off a baby. <laughs> and anyone? That's really funny. <laughs> and then, look, 
<laughs> this is this is so disturbing. Oh no, I can't. No, <laughs> they must have taken a photo. So we want a, a cake of the baby, right? Oh, they must no. have taken the oh, photograph no. of the baby <laughs> the <laughs> second it was born. Oh. Right. There is there's the baby. <laughs> There's a full length one over here, hang on. By the way, it, it looks like an like an old person. It looks like it Doesn't looks like it? a nun. It looks like, it looks a, like, it looks like yeah. the face it of It looks like, like my nan with sunburns. Welcome <laughs> <laughs> back from your holidays. Fell asleep in it, love. Yeah. Oh no, it was so And then yeah. finally, you kind of think, what could go wrong? It's a baby shower. I want individual carrot cakes for everyone at my baby shower. Right. How wrong does this look? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the opening ceremony of the Beijing Olympics. Right on the cake, people. I do want that. Look at that. Look at that. That is hilarious. Oh. Hilarious. Oh, that's what you underneath that. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Uh, now, really Russell Kane, very yes. busy man, you're yes. on tour until. Is it until July? Well, no, I'm, I'm on tour till May, officially, and then I start previewing the next one straight away. <laughs> oh, so, till July. <laughs> till July, yeah. Oh, but well, then you're in Edinburgh. Yeah, it just carries on and on, really. So you sort of do the new show in August, and you get about a week off, and then you're, you're, I'm touring from September till May. Is this the show that won the big prize in Edinburgh last year? Yeah, yeah. Was well, that... congratulations. I mean, it's a big deal. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. I was going to... I mean, this is... This is another big difference between the uh, Americans and the Brits and the Australians. So when I gig in America or Australia... I'm not Australian. No, no, but uh, no, I've, I've looked at oh. you because you've been nominated for a few awards recently oh. and I wonder what the difference would be. Oh. <laughs> because this is the only country where if I get nominated or win an award, a sense of dread comes over me before I go on stage. If I'm about to go on in America and they go, he's won an award, they go, oh my God, that must mean he's going to be great. Hooray! He's from London, am I saying it right? And then you go on. <laughs> and, and the audience believe in you. But in this country, as soon as you win something, or get nominated, like, prove yourself, you Lego-haired prick. <laughs> <laughs> One a prize, have you? <laughs> Don't crack me. <laughs> but yeah, it's still brilliant, but I have to package it in self-loathing or I wouldn't be English. And this one's called... <laughs> it's called Smoke... It's quite a romantic title. Yeah. Smoke Screen and Castles. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I know. Yeah. Uh, why? It's taken off the front of a cake that went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, it's based on the house I grew up in. I grew up in a, a, a council... A castle? No, I grew up in a council house. You might have to Wikipedia that. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it was, uh, but my dad bought his own council house, which meant, as British people will know, if you live in a council road and you buy your own house, all the neighbours immediately hate you because <laughs> it's like you think you're a little bit better than everyone else. And as soon as we bought our own council house, my dad extended it. He put a swimming pool in the back garden of our council. Are you our welfare. Joking? No, no. My mum's accent changed overnight from a sort of broad London to a slightly more, you know, uh, sculpted <laughs> Essex <laughs> accent. <laughs> like that. the end of her words, but with moronic vowels in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, and we got, it was nicknamed the castle by our night. Look at the castle, too good for the street. And I thought. <laughs> It's a and it was supposed to be a metaphor for my dad as well, what I was talking about earlier, all the bricks on the outside and, the, and all the warmth and luxury and love Definitely. locked inside. Feeling quite lyrical, it's because I'm yeah, next to you. <laughs> <laughs> and a big pool of tears in the garden! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the, the touring bit, do you like... Cos you, uh, you say you've been to America and you've been, you've been to Australia, New Zealand... Yeah. Do, do you like all of that? I like, the, I like the experience of different cultures because the danger of becoming a, a, a stand-up when you get busier you're not experiencing anything, so all your stand-ups about service stations and driving and trains and aeroplanes, because you no longer have a life. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know when you're rocking back and forth in a travel lodge, what's that all about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you just sort of turn up, and then there's the adulation of the audience, 400 people, the encore, and then you, all of a sudden, you know, everything's premier except the price. And you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll have the buffet, might as well eat, there's nothing else. <laughs> But that drives you... You'll know, know, you did stand-up. It's, yeah. it's that comparison of energies that starts to drive you a bit nuts after a while. Yes, it's yeah. all like sitting in, in hotels with like, okay, they loved me, where are they now? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just ginsters all around you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how you guys do it, man. Imodium. It's just... It's they're not to be indelicate, but I didn't realise uh -oh. on size really big, that, that, that as you travel round that there is regional uh, porn. 
I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that either. <laughs> I did. You're young. <laughs> I know all regional. about oh, me, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> what it was, I was, I was doing some research. <laughs> no, there was this interesting statistic that we're the only English-speaking country that doesn't massively consume the more Californian American porn. You know, the, oh, God, yeah, that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we prefer sort of, you know, stuff with regional accents, yes. reality, people emerging from behind a little in groups and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> not because, not because we're more perverted, but because I think Brits, we distrust too much perfection. We don't think look like things that are overly finished. There's something unerotic about things which are too erotic. You hear like British girls all the time, and so I don't like a man to be too muscly. It's a bit of a turn off if he looks too groomed. I like a fat guy, bald head, low life expectancy. <laughs> 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 it might turn violent on the M6. I love the risk. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas an American girl, oh my god, he was so buff. You know, he had the, he looked like the vampire one, but with the wolf one's pecs, he was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and so apparently we go for that that more sort of British porn. And you do get it regionally. I mean. I, I heard some sort of some northern stuff, but there was one guy. Um, I don't know how to put this. Banging another chick. Have I said it right? Sorry. And, uh, and he went, oh, that's champion, that. <laughs> I can beat that. I'm not a This is the best one. Bear in mind how love scenes, not necessarily pornographic love scenes, but even uh, American Hollywood love scenes, sort of build to some sort of climaxes. This British pornographic scene completed, shall we say. This is like a southern Essexy type pornographer, and he went, oh, right? Then he looked, <laughs> looked to camera, looked to camera, went, quality. <laughs> That's what I got. I sound like I'm with a lot of porn, right? <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I wanted to ask a really big American movie star. <laughs> Inspired by that. Inspired by that, of no. course. Inspired by that, of course. Oh, it, no. Is, is dogging really big in the USA? No! <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what that is. You don't want to know. <laughs> no, I really do. Is it illegal? Illegal? Yeah. Or is hey. it legal? I think it's illegal. It's if, illegal. If the police pulled up, they wouldn't join in, would they? No. That's a really good working definition of what's legal exactly. and illegal. <laughs> Would the police join in? <laughs> yeah. oh, <my> God. <laughs> That's very good. Now, uh, huge congratulations to you, uh, Tony Temper. Four, four uh, Brit nominations, more than any living person this year. Wow. Thank you very much. It's a big deal. Hey, I'm, I'm blushing, I know you can't tell, <laughs> but I am. No, were you there? <laughs> because it's going to be in, uh, it's in two weeks' time, the it big is night. In two weeks time. And I hear you've got a huge performance planned. Yes, it's going to be pretty incredible. So, how many dancers are you going to have? We're not going to have any dancers. Dancers is not really my thing. Really? Yeah. Aren't the dancers the best bit? No. <laughs> yeah. That's cabaret. That's too cabaret. No, I meant best bit for you. It's nice to have dancers around. Do you know what? I've been, I've been supporting Usher on tour, and he has some incredible dancers. I've been having a lot of fun with them. <laughs> <laughs> In car parks, up and down the line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, now, sir, uh, you're getting used to the high life because uh, you like your spending now. You've bought some big so things. Don't make it sound bad. No, sp shopping, it's good. We're not having an intervention. Once, no, yeah. It's good. Yeah. You, when nice things happen in your life, you nice to buy a nice big thing, don't you? Yeah, definitely. So What's the your watch? favourite stuff? Oh, you've been paying attention, haven't <laughs> yeah. you, mate? I was trying to hide it. Yeah. No, that's yeah. a... I, I saw the watch, too. Yeah. The rose gold. Really I was looking crazy. at it like, that's a yeah. really nice rose yeah. real. That's real. Thank you. Yeah. So when <laughs> did you buy that? I, w I bought that when the album went platinum. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I should have. They do, they do a platinum one. That's you, a can, you can wear it a little It's a day yeah. date with Diamond Dial. How much does it cost? That's, there we go. That's thousands. That costs thousands. I'm like, I feel, like a, I feel like a girl in one of those shows. <laughs> you will win Tiny it. Tempers, new Don't Rolex. No. $20,000. <laughs> 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 right. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I can't. I don't, if I touch it, it will break. Please. I'm not touching. <laughs> I'm not touching. Yeah, listen. Uh, so, You're not uh, giving it back. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, so this is the album that paid for it all, uh, Discovery. Yes. And you're uh, going to be doing the fifth uh, single. Wonder Man. That's what it's called. Uh, yes. So uh, if you'd like to go and uh, yeah, get definitely. ready. I think he does want his watch back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was funny for a minute. <laughs> His little oh, face. Come His little face was like, no, will it not come off? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> Tiny Temper, everybody. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and still to come tonight, this sweet story to the Red Chamber first, singing Wonder Man. It is Tiny Temper. The strong, the mighty. The forces of evil can never destroy the powers of the Wonder Man. And though the most formidable journey lies ahead, only one will prevail. Wonder. Wonder. Wonder Man. Ah, uh, yeah. These haters couldn't get to where I am with a full tank of petrol. Ah, uh, what a boo used to drink and kept the cast you when life got stressful. Ah, uh, what kind of person should you be when you wanna make people accept you? Ah, uh, what does it really mean when you dream of being famous and successful? When you were born to be special? Ah, uh, yeah, and I went from the kid in class. Texting radio DJ said they could be me up. To the young rapper, everybody's ringing up. I've got, I'm looking for a sprinkle and a pixie dust. Mad thoughts in my head, but it's blowing up. Like, are you really big enough? Traded friends for fans, some emphasis. Raise your hand, the wonder man. What the feeling awkward when you walk up in the morning Can't afford a pair of trainers Imagine when it changes Imagine satisfaction when you make it It's more than being famous More than the applause or more than any form of status More than the performances in 24 of faces Ben and many more Praise it, amen, hallelujah Tiny look what's happened to you Get it up the attitude, brand new and improved Cheer, and when the fans start grabbing you Show gratitude with a little gratitude. Amen, hallelujah, tiny look what's happened to you. Who can say they ran all the obstacles I ran? Look, I traded friends for fans. To man for sad, raise your hand. The wonder man. Award winning. Fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah. no, seriously. Can I see uh, the microphone? Look at that microphone. I know. All right, it's shiny. Put it down. <laughs> <laughs> is that a coffee cup? Yeah, it's, it's my little logo. It is. I've got to get oh, one of those made. Aberystwyth Student Union Monday. <laughs> 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 now, uh, 
just before we go, it's time once again for a story two in the red chair. So, uh, who's up first in the red chair? Hello, nice lady. Hello. Hi, what's your name? I'm, I'm Vicky. Vicky, okay. And where do you live, Vicky? I live in Oxford. Oxford? Mm. And what do you do there? Um, I'm on a gap year. On a gap no. year? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Are you from Oxford? Um, no, I'm actually from Hong Kong, but I've been oh, living Oh, I see. So this is your gap year here. Oh, um, no, sorry, I got that wrong. I used to live in Hong Kong, but I've been living in Oxford for <laughs> These are not hard questions. <laughs> Which country are you from? <laughs> I can do this all night long. <laughs> Good. Uh, <laughs> you say that now. Um, uh, somebody else now. Hello. Hello there, how are you? I'm very well. What's your name, sir? My name is uh, Bernard here, but I'm Bernard home in the States. <gasps> he's, a, he's a fellow traveler, Kate. Yes, I'm he already is. protecting this. I'm okay, uh, where, what part of the States are you from? I live in Las Vegas. In Las Vegas? What do you do in Las Vegas? I'm a retired newspaper editor, Graham. Oh, OK. And, uh, and do you like the gambling? Uh, I couldn't live in Las Vegas if I gambled, so no, I don't gamble. Oh, OK. You just like the weather? I just watch PBL. <laughs> <laughs> like Las Vegas and not gamble. That's, <laughs> that's not cool. It's not cool. It does that. Big judge for Do time for one more. Should we do one more? Yeah. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Quick, quick, quick. Hello! Hello. Hi. You all right? Yeah, I'm very well, very well, sir. Uh, what's your name, sir? Kiri. Kiri? Yeah. His name's Kiri. 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 Yeah. Kiri, where does that come from? I'm Greek from Cyprus. Greek? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. They're loving it. They're loving it. Hey. Kiri. A lot of love for Kiri. Okay, look at Kiri, gripping that chair. He's <laughs> not that confident about his story. <laughs> Sometimes it goes he, well. He, 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 he came up prepared. He yeah. <laughs> Someone's got to come up with a seatbelt one night. Yeah. Uh, okay, Kiri, delight us. Um, so one day I'm at school and I really like bursting to go to the toilet. So I've, I've gone out, uh, outside, gone into the toilets, whatever, and um, all the cubicle doors are locked. And... Um, I think nothing. I just thought I was looking underneath the toilets to see if anyone's legs were there or anything because I knew he was really like desperate to go. So I thought for some reason, look underneath the toilet with that little gap underneath the door. Yeah. And um, stuck my head through and then got stuck. <laughs> um. Okay, now, Kiri, because you did, you got a nice ride with that extra story, so you could walk. Yeah. Or do you want the ex do you want to experience the the tipping chair? I'll oh, pull it. Pull it. Do you want yeah. to do it? You want to be honest? Yeah. There he goes. Oh, he loved it. He loved it. Uh, well done, everyone. If you want to join us on the show and have a go in the red chair, you can contact us via our website at this address. Uh, I've had a great evening tonight, so thank you so much to my guests, uh, Tiny Temper, Russell Kane, and Kate Hudson. With actors Emily Blunt, Phoebe Nedburn, music guests The Wanted, and the great one herself, Dame Helen Mirren. I'll see you then. Good night, everyone. Bye bye.